Hi everybody, I'm Jill with One Good Thing by Jilly. I have a wonderful tip for you today that you will probably think is some kind of voodoo magic is involved, but it really isn't. It's, it's a great tip for unshrinking your clothes. Obviously, if you've had a problem with shrinking something in the dryer that you didn't mean to go in there, you will want to know this tip. I had this happen when I, I found the perfect pair of comfy yoga pants at the Nike outlet and I was so excited about them and I loved them, they were comfortable, they fit right, they were long enough. Then I went to wash them and I had no intention of drying them, but my dear husband, bless his heart, got a hold of the, the load of laundry and dried them. And so when I took them out, Years of laundry intuition told me they were gonna to be too short, and sure enough, they were about four, four inches too short now. So I kind of wrote them off, put them in the rag bag, and then a reader asked me about, is there a way to unshrink clothes? And I thought, hmm, you know what? I had never thought about that before. I did some research. There's a very easy way to unshrink your clothes, and it does not involve any voodoo magic. All it does involve is some warm water. I usually do this in a sink full of warm water, but just today for demonstration purposes, I just have a tub full of warm water. And then your item of clothing that was shrunk, unintentionally, I'm sure, and then some baby shampoo, whatever baby shampoo you like. And just, you're just gonna do a cap full of baby shampoo to roughly a sink full of warm water. And what this does is when you mix it up and put your garment in it, it's going to relax the fibers. So you wanna put it in there, submerge it and get it completely wet. You don't really even have to soak it per se. Um, you just wanna make sure a little bit of that shampoo gets in all of the fibers because that's what's gonna help to relax the fibers. And then also the fact that you're getting it wet, you're um, relaxing the fibers also and it's gonna allow you to stretch the item of clothing back to its original form. So, um, a word of warning, this will not work for wool sweaters. <laughs> Once you dry a wool sweater, it is, it's toast, but you can make something else cool with it, like a craft of some sort. So you're gonna squeeze out most, as much of the water as you can. You're not rinsing it, you're leaving the baby shampoo in there. I'm just gonna move this to the side. And then you want to have two towels at the ready. The first towel, you're going to lay out the item that you're trying to unshrink. And this is more just for drying purposes, to get some more of the moisture out of it. So all you do is just roll it up. And give it a good squeeze. Get as much moisture out as you can. Unroll it. Move that one aside. And then another dry towel to lay it out on. Here's where the unshrinking magic comes. Because it's wet, and because you have used a little bit of the baby shampoo, you should be able to stretch your garment a little bit. So do it gently at first. You don't wanna like go crazy and stretch it, then it's like way bigger than you ever <laughs> intended it to be. And then keep doing that until you get it to about where you think it should be. In my case, it, it had shrunk about four inches. So if you gently, I gently stretched it, I don't know, three or four times and eventually got to where I wanted. And then you just leave it, leave it to dry. I'm an impatient person, so I actually set up a box fan <laughs> on it to make it dry faster because I couldn't wait to see if it worked. Yeah, but overnight, few hours, especially if you live where I am, it's very dry, it'll be dry very quickly. And then take it up, try it on, and you'll be amazed at the ability you just had to unshrink your clothes. And make sure you tell everyone you know because it's a great tip and they will love you for it. And you can go to www.onegoodthingbyjilly.com to get more information on this post and a few more tips and pictures and hopefully you'll try it.